What's up guys, my name's Kid Me, and welcome back to another Rec Room VR tutorial. Today, we'll be showing beginner, beginner Rec Room players how to make your own quest. Yes, your very own quest in Rec Room VR. This video is simply for Rec Room beginners that don't know how to make quests and don't know how to use gadgets and circuits. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So first of all, you just want to open up your mate. Oh, your what, sorry? And you just want to go to create. And you just want to go to base rooms. You just want to create your own room. You can choose any template you want. Anything will work. But I'm just going to go with the maker room. And it comes up with just a uh, classic name for your room. And you just want to go create. And let's go. And now that we're here, you can do anything you would like with this room. You can add props. You can add decorations. You can add walls. You can add a new floor. You can add a new roof. You can do absolutely anything you would like. Just save at least probably 10% ink, maybe 15%. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to redecorate the room. Very basic and simple. But yeah, I'll see you guys after that. So yeah, as you guys can see, my design is very simple. I've got like four walls and I've kept the same floor. It really doesn't need to be much at all for this to work. I'm just going to freeze this real quick. So just grab your mega pen and freeze absolutely everything. So when you're spawning stuff, you don't want to, or you want to delete it, you don't accidentally want to delete your whole room. So um, yeah, uh, now we're going to actually be able to make it so you obviously spawn. You go through a certain thing and it triggers this uh, this spawner gadget that spawns the enemies. So either robots or bats, but we'll get to it. Let's get straight into it. So everything's fine. Everything's looking good. You can, As I said, you can design it whatever you want. But um, yeah, so pretty much just like to get your maker pen out of your back, just go to your watch and go to uh, backpack and then go to the maker pen and you can go favorite and check that uh, star little box. So you just want to grab your maker pen. You just want to go create. You want to go palette and you want to go cv1 legacy and go all and scroll all the way to the right because you want to spawn a a welcome mat so people can spawn so say this is just this is just a level of your quest that you're making so that say this is just level one it's gonna be very simple and easy as i said this video is just for beginners you go all the way you want to find the welcome mat you want to select that and you want to spawn it wherever you want wherever you want your place to spawn put it there so i'm just gonna go I'm just going to put mine here. I'm just going to go and freeze that real quick so nobody can pick it up. So you spawn here and you want to go to a certain space where your enemies can spawn. So go around your mega pen, go create, go to pallet and go CV1 legacy and go to all and find the spawner gadget V1 legacy. And wherever you want your uh, enemies to spawn, place this. So you can spawn it right here, you can spawn it over here, you can spawn it over here, you can spawn it up here so they fall when they do it. Uh, when they spawn, but I'm just going to place it right here. Just gonna place it right here. So now, uh, so you spawn in, and now you've got a uh, spawner gadget for your enemies to spawn at. So you want to go to the tools, configure, and you want to configure this little black uh, chip here. Number to spawn, this means how many enemies you want to spawn. I'm just going to say two. Time between spawns, so say one enemy spawns, and 0.2 seconds later, another one's going to spawn. So I'm just keep it as that. And you can go set object, so you can choose whichever you want. You can even choose a clay pot. That's not even an enemy. You can go assassin bot, charge knight golem. You've got so many options here. Um, you can spawn even these guys, uh, even the skeletons from um, Isle of the Lost Skulls. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just select the ranged tread bot. So let's do spawn two of them. And now you also want to go to your uh, Mega Bango configure, and you want to configure the robot. So you can configure all these things, projectile speed, dash speed, dash minimum speed, dash maximum speed, max health. Uh, if you want to see the bar, the health bar visible, if you want the health bar to be visible, then check that and go always. Maybe on, com on spawn, you can go combat or disengage. Um, team, you, if, you want, if you're doing a team battle, you can pick teams, um, but we didn't have teams in this game, uh, our quest that we're doing at the moment. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do with that. Now... We're gonna make a certain place where your player has to go for these to spawn. So just go to your Mega Pen, Tools, Create, and go Palette, and let's find the Trigger Volume. So we're just gonna go Trigger Volume V1. V2 is a bit more complicated. As I said, this is just this video is just for beginners. But yeah, find a certain space where you want your Trigger Volume to be. It can be anywhere. We're just gonna do it straight in front of the Welcome Mat because this is gonna be a simple little level. And you can manipulate it, make it bigger. Um, you can make it small. You can make it wherever, however big or small you want. 
uh, but we're just going to make it pretty decent size. So yeah, we're, we're going to have it when you go inside this box, these two of these robots are going to spawn. So first of all, if you want your box to only spawn them once, so if if so see how this trigger once i'm going to select that because i only want to walk in here once and the robot spawn if you want more to spawn at once and you can clone that and put it there and put it there and they can spawn different places but we only want this is we only want to trigger this once so you just want to go to your tools and you want to go actually let's create a beacon because you can't see gadgets so when your player comes here they're not going to know where to go so let's just op open up your mega pen go to create go to palette and you want to find you want to go to props and you want to find the beacon right next to the basketball and you want to spawn it in the middle of the trigger volume so you just want to spawn it there and now you can scale it so tools scale let's make this a little bit bigger and let's make it the same size as the trigger volume and you want to move it up a little bit Alright, so now your player knows where to go. They can see the beacon, so when they spawn, they're gonna be like, oh, well, I have to go here. And as soon as you hit there, the robots are gonna spawn. So let's do that real quick. Let's go to our mega pen. You wanna go to wire. You wanna come around here, find the, the red, green, and blue arrow. If you want to spawn the bots when you're entering the zone, then you can do that. If you want them to spawn when you exit the zone, you can do that. But we're just gonna go with when entering zone. So select that on your wire, you're gonna see this red line and you wanna go all the way to this little black chip and you wanna go to the top left because that says start spawning. So when entering zone, the robots will start spawning. Let's just save the room real quick. So let's just go to this room and save room. So now it's saved. So this is only gonna trigger once. So say you spawn in at the, um, at the welcome mat, right? And you want to go there, so you, you have to go there. So once you go in there, they, they, they start spawning. The robots start spawning, you can see their health bar. They're not moving around though. Let's see why. If you want to reset them, just go make a pen wire. And you just go on the reset. Ah, uh, this little button down here it says there, you just hold, hover your mega pen over there and click that. So now, because we've already triggered this, they can't spawn again. So if you want them to spawn, um, every time you leave the room, go back into the room, save the room, or refresh the room, they can spawn because we're only spawning, we're only triggering it once. They can't spawn again, as you can see. And as you can see, they weren't moving. So there's two more steps to this, to this video. So first of all, you want to go to your watch, and you want to go this room settings, and you want to scroll down on um, on main settings. You want to scroll down, and you want to go. Bake nav mesh. So the nav mesh is where the robots can actually go and move. If you don't do this, they can't move. So let's just manipulate this. This little, this big white box, this is, and the purple, that is where they can go. So if you only want them to be able to go here and not past the beacon, then you can have that. So let's just drop your make pen and manipulate that and then bake nav mesh again. And as you can see, they can only go in this certain area. They can go to this side, this side, this side, but they can go, move around all area. So, yeah, let, let's do that. And let's also spawn a gun for our player to kill these robots with. So, props. And you want to go down to weapons. And because it's a robot, we want like a laser pistol or something. You can choose any weapon you want, but let's just do a laser pistol. Let's just save the room again because we've got a laser pistol. And now the room is saved. So, when you, you spawn on the welcome mat, you grab your gun. Go through here and look they spawn and they can move now they can move around they just can't get past this little barrier you guys can't see it unless you have your mega pen out but yeah look they're moving now let's just kill them let's just kill them let's kill them and you, you can go past this place as well so yeah that's pretty much it guys that is how to make your own basic quest in rec room vr i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh this video is just for beginners so i really hope you guys can have some fun making your own quest and redesigning like a, a full room and so yeah i really i really hope i help you guys out if you enjoyed please like subscribe leave it back in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one goodbye